Good morning. You guys ready to do worship? Let's sing to God about how we love him, all the different ways. Okay, remember we start out with da-da-da. Da-da-da, 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 da-da-da. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Awesome. Thanks for singing that with me this morning. I have something new for you. Remember how in our classrooms we use the American flag? It's a flag that has red, white, and blue, and it has stripes, and up in the corner it has stars. Well, this isn't the American flag, is it? No, this is a new flag. It's called the Christian flag. See up in the blue box, there's a red cross. And that reminds us that Jesus died and rose again so that we could be friends with God. So this is the Christian flag. We're going to learn the pledge to the Christian flag, just like we weren't learned the pledge to the Bible and the pledge to the American flag. So stand up, and I'm going to hold the flag like this, and we're going to put our hand over our heart just like we do for our other pledges. I'm going to say a line of this new pledge, and you say it back to me. That's how we'll learn it, okay? I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior, crucified, risen, and coming again with life and liberty for all who believe. Nice job. All right, we're going to keep working on that until we know it just as well as we know our pledge to the Bible. Yep. All right. Last time we had worship together, we talked about what it means to love the Lord our God with all of our heart. And we learned that we are able to love God and others because Jesus loved us first and he showed us what love was all about and how to love other people. So let's sing our We Love song. Here we go. We love because God first loved us. We love because God first loved us. We love, we love, we love. Because God first loved us. One more time, okay? Here we go. We love. Because God first loved us. We love. Because God first loved us. We love. We love. We love. Because God first loved us. All right. What? is our soul. We've been singing for a couple worship times that we love the Lord our God with our heart and our soul. Our soul is who we are on the inside. It's all about us. God made you with a personality. God made you to be interested in certain things. God made you to talk to people in different ways and to like and enjoy different things. Those are all ways that we show our soul, the things we like, who we are, and the things we do. So I can serve the Lord with all my soul because I like music, and so I sing, and I play a few instruments. That's one way I can love and serve the Lord by using my music when I have worship with you. Um, 
my husband, Pastor Rick, loves the Lord with his soul by writing. He loves to read and he loves to write things about God. He's writing a book right now. That's a way that he loves the Lord, his God, with his soul. He's using something that God gave him a gift at, writing, to let God know that he loves him. Um, some people like to move with their body. So maybe they would love God with their moving soul by doing a dance, right? Some people are really good at teaching. We have great teachers at Sunshine, don't we? They serve the Lord by teaching you all about God and how to pray. So we can love the Lord our God with our soul, which is who we are on the inside, the things we love doing, and with the gifts and talents that God's given us. In the Bible, there was a king named King David. And later on, we'll learn several stories about King David. But today, I want to talk to you about David the musician. David was a shepherd. You see all the sheep over here? And back in the days of the Old Testament, shepherds would take their sheep out to grassy fields for them to eat the grass. And they'd take them to nice running water to get a drink. While David was out there, he was a teenager with his sheep, he would take his harp. Do you see the little harp down here in the corner? A harp is a stringed instrument, similar, very similar to my auto harp Ooh, that we've used today to sing our We Love song. So David was would take his harp with him while he was out with the sheep. And while the sheep were eating, he would make up songs and sing songs to God. His songs are in the Bible, in a book of the Bible that we call Psalms. Psalms. Can you say that? That's a hard word to say. It sounds like songs, but it's Psalms. Those are all musical songs that David wrote in the Bible. So that's how David showed that he loved God with his soul by writing music. Let's read about that a little bit, okay? The Lord is my shepherd. This is one of King David's songs about God, and it goes like this. The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need. He lets me lie down in fields of green grass. He leads me beside quiet waters. He gives me new strength. He guides me in the right paths for the honor of his name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. You, God, are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff comfort me. You prepare a feast for me right in front of my enemies. You pour oil on my head. My cup runs over. All of those words mean that he's telling God that God takes care of him, just like a shepherd takes care of his sheep. I am sure that your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. Yeah, the house of the Lord is in heaven, right? If we love God and we believe in him, we will live in heaven with God forever, just like King David. So King David wrote those songs, they're in the Bible, in a book that we call Psalms. Lots and lots of songs in there. Um, you know, when I think about a shepherd and I think about the sheep, I remember that Jesus tells us in the Bible, in the New Testament, that he is like our shepherd. Just like David, King David said in the Psalm that we just read, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I think about Jesus taking care of us like the shepherd takes care of his sheep. So I'd like to teach you a song about the Lord is my shepherd and it goes like this. 
whoops, wrong, wrong key. The Lord is my shepherd. I'll walk with him always. He leads by still waters. I'll walk with him always. Always, always. I'll walk with him always. Always, always. I'll walk with him always. The Lord is my shepherd. I'll walk with him always. Will you always walk with Jesus? I want to always walk with Jesus. He leads by still waters. I'll walk with him always. Always, always. I'll walk with him always. Always, always. I'll walk with him always. The Lord is my shepherd. I'll walk with him always. He leads by still waters. I'll walk with him always. Always, always. I'll walk with him always. Always, always. I'll walk with him always. Awesome. Another way, or another thing I think about when I think about Jesus being my shepherd is I like to think about if I were with Jesus, that he would hold me in his arms and take care of me in that way. He'd give me hugs. So I wanna sing our song called In His Arms. It's gonna take just a couple seconds for me to get the right song on our tape. And then we can do this. You remember this song? We sang it once before. Heavenly Father, and He takes care of us. In His arms, in His arms, in His arms, God holds us close in His arms. In His arms, in His arms, in His arms, God holds us close in His arms. And He won't let go, no, no, no. Because his love is so strong When we draw near, it's very clear All of us belong In his arms, in his arms, in his arms God holds us close in his arms In his arms, in his arms, in his arms God holds us close in his arms. Let's pray and thank Jesus for holding us in his arms like a shepherd would hold a sheep, a baby, or a lamb in his arms. Dear Jesus, we love you. Thank you for loving, for letting us serve you with our soul and love you with our soul. Thank you for taking care of us like a shepherd takes care of his sheep. Amen. All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow with another worship time. All right, bye-bye.